So I saw this uh, video making the rounds of your 10 most listened to records, not your 10 favorite records, but your 10 most listened to records. Um, so without wasting time, I thought I would join in and show my 10 plus a, kind of, a couple of honorable mentions. Um, no particular order. First one, Fromix. Um, this one has a special place in my heart because I am making, currently making my first film, which is a documentary on this guy, Stephen Fromholtz. This record came out in 1969. Um, it was kind of the precursor album to the whole outlaw country, progressive country scene that would take place here in Austin in the early 70s. Um, but uh, it's got songs on it like uh, Texas Trilogy, and then The Man with the Big Hat, which is the name of the film, The Man with the Big Hat. They were kind of known for their um, story songs, songs about uh, places where you grew up in Texas and Colorado and Arizona and New Mexico and all that kind of stuff. It's very um, theatrical. It's <laughs> perfect, perfect songwriting for a, for a film. Um, Second one is Steve Young, Rock Salt and Nails. It's an album I've been look I was looking for forever, um, and it's a good driving album. Steve Young again, uh, just another great songwriter. Spent some time in Texas. Was, was part of the Towns Guy Clark um, connection, and you know, of course the the. The song Rock Salt and Nails is one of my favorites. And then, um, you know, One Woman Man and, um, let me see here, Coyote is, of course, you know, that's how strong my love is. It's just, um, it's just, uh, yeah, I just don't really have much to say more about it. I just really like the album. Um, Paris, Texas, keeping in the Texas theme. Um, the film takes place, a lot of it, especially early on, is filmed in the Big Bend of Texas, you know, six, seven hours west of here, um, along the Mexican border. And the whole soundtrack was done by Ry Cooter, but this, you know, uh, it's a soundtrack that I listen to often. And um, it's a place that I always, <laughs> that I long, long to be. Uh, it's just, I love Ry Cooter and, um, yeah, just this 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 music is very fitting if you've ever been out to the Big Bend in West Texas and Terlingua and all that stuff where this movie was, the first half of it was filmed. Um, you'd see that the music is quite fitting. It's a very open, very epic, contemplative. Um, Young Brigham, Ramble and Jack Elliott. Uh, throughout the making of my film on Steve Fromholtz. I've got to interview Jack and then meet him and hang out with him a handful of times since then. Um, and the last time being just a few months ago. And he, <laughs> I had him sign this and he wrote YB for Young Brigham, this horse is Young Brigham. And then he wrote, you know, signed it and um, his three T's. Jack always signed his album, his uh, signature with three T's. That's how you know it's an authentic Ramble and Jack um, autograph. But this has one of my all-time favorite songs on it, the Tim Harden, If I Were a Carpenter song. Um, I don't... I think, I think Jack's version of this song is the only song, only version of this song that should ever <laughs> exist. Um, it, it's just... I, it, and it also features... His 912 Greens um, song about going to New Orleans and hanging out with Billy Fair. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, I think this encapsulates Jack the most to me. Um, just his, his kind of free spirit um, attitude and lyrics. And um, yeah, I just, I love this album. Simon and Garfunkel find myself listening to them often, um, but especially this album, Sound of Silence, mainly because of the two songs um, 
let me see here, Angie, and Somewhere They Can't Find Me, this kind of one continuous song of kind of like haunting guitar play that kind of sounds, reminds me a little bit of Doc Watson. Um, and then of course the sounds of silence, but it's just kind of, it's kind of like a folky haunting album that's perfect, you know, perfect for a rainy day or perfect for like a somber mood. This is my favorite of theirs, favorite album of theirs. Um, it just, you know, their harmonies and songwriting just, uh, just get me. Um, Bruce Springsteen, Nebraska. I've never been a Bruce Springsteen fan, but um, this is about the only album of his that I will listen to and care about. It's kind of, all of these albums are like theatrical um, and kind of had have like a continuous like storyline and, and, and imagery. And this album um, is just very raw and very vivid for me. Um, it's just <laughs> very primal. Um, I can just kind of listen to it on repeat. Uh, I just, I love the places that it takes me visually. Um, and then probably my favorite one out of all of these is the David Crosby, if I could remember my name. Um, again, just like one continuous feeling throughout this album. Very lofty, very spiritual, very, um, uh, atmospheric, um, he just, his voice, it, um, I just, I don't know, there's something about it, it's just very dreamy to me, and this is the album I probably find myself listening to more so than any album in my entire collection. Cowboy Movie is my, you know, favorite song on that album. Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. Again, theme, very movie-like, very theatrical. Um, I just, I love, you know, of course, uh, Vincent Price, um, his narration on here. Um, yeah, it's my favorite. I think it's my favorite Alice Cooper album. If not, it's my second favorite. But, uh, yeah. I just, it's very colorful. It just puts me in a feel good mood. You know, I can't ever, I have to listen to it all the way through. Leonard Cohen, Songs of Love and Hate. Whenever I need to get in the zone or um, need some alone time or are in a tough headspace, this is what I listen to. If you ever come over or, or ever around me and I'm listening to this album, it's best to just kind of let me be. It's it's the I need I need space I need to clear my head album. It's very um, it's like meditation for me. It just kind of hits that 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 spot in me where I just it it just kind of re centers me. It's just his his voice and the tone. Um, throughout. And this is, if I were stranded on a desert island album, um, I think this may be the one album that I would want. I don't know how long I would last mentally if I listened to this song, listen to this album <laughs> while stranded on a desert island. But, um, yeah, it, it just my, it's my favorite album of theirs. There's not one song that kind of I like over the other. Um, you know, personally partial to, um, where is it? Where Did You Sleep Last Night? Of course, I love that song. Um, and Come As You Are, but mainly Where Did You Sleep Last Night? I just, I love his rendition and his little, story of talking about wanting Lead Billy's guitar. Um, yeah, I just, there was a period where 
whenever you were around me, if you ever came over, this was the only thing that was ever planned. Every day, all day. And one that kind of doesn't, that stands, <laughs> stands up from all the rest, um, Donna Summer. Bad Girls, Doba LP. I uh, didn't know that I liked disco music, but I do a lot. Um, recently saw the Donna Summer doc at South By. Um, didn't like the movie, but I love her music. It's it just makes me feel good. Um, it's got a great beat to it, and this one in particular, it's it, you know, it just it just puts me in a good mood. Um, especially, you know, the the title track, but yeah, I just, I love the album. And then a couple, two um, bonus albums that I don't have on LP, but I have cassettes. Sade, Promise, and Twin Peaks soundtrack. Sade um, has skyrocketed to my go-to album for whatever mood I'm listening to whenever I don't know what to put on. I'll just grab one of her cassettes um, and put it on. It, it doesn't matter which one it is. It doesn't. I don't really like favor any of these um, over the other. This is Promise. And then, you know, this is a great Twin Peaks soundtrack. is a great go-to for um, if I have work to do or uh, I just need want to hear something without lyrics this is what i go to it's just nice like kind of like brooding uh um atmospheric melancholy feeling and just the bass and the theme song it just i could listen to that <laughs> all day all day on repeat um but yeah so you know that's that's my 10 albums that i find myself going to the most didn't really go into depth about each one um, as much as I thought I would, but you can find them, listen to them for yourself, and uh, find what you like in them. But thanks for watching.